Hello guys, welcome to the another video. So in this particular video, so here is our cabinet called Galax, right? Uh, Rev 6. So in this particular cabinet, we are going to install the motherboard and the components which are required. Guys, this is a tempered glass. I'm going to close it. Now I will turn this particular uh, uh, cabinet. Let's see. Okay, I have went ahead and I have turned that particular, uh, you know, cabinet. Uh, the first thing needed to be noticed is that, guys, in this particular CPU, in this particular cabinet, there are like four RGB fans, as you are already aware. Uh, like on the front portion, there are three. And on the rear portion, there is one. And on the top, you're going to see the start button, the power on and off, the restart button. Okay, the reset button, basically you have the two USB slots of 2.0, one of uh, USB 3.0, you have a head, uh, headset and a microphone jack, of course. If you see underneath, okay, let me just show you the underneath of it. Underneath of it, you would see the USB uh, slot 3 is being connected to here, whereas the additional USBs and everything is being connected to this chip, followed by it comes uh, like under the cable management slot for this cabinet. So here you would have all the nuts which is required to fix. I don't know whether you are able to see it or not. Let me focus. Okay, there you go. So there you go. I would be able to show you. Now here in this particular slot, we would be connecting some power modules so that it can get, throw the power unit to it. So now comes, let's talk about the cable, it, the cables. Okay, inside this particular cable, you would see this is for the type, uh, this is for the USB 3.0 guys, okay. So this JTQS, what you see, this is for the type 3.0, which you see over here on the top, this one. Okay guys, this one. Now, here you have the HD, this is nothing but the HD audio to have the audio particular power on on it. This is again the USB 2.0 guys where you can plug in. This is the F panel guys. F panel is basically to turn on the particular system. Now we will figure out where we will go ahead and input those particular slot in our motherboard. Mm -hmm. Before we go ahead and show you about how would we go ahead and install it into the motherboard? The first thing you should know the SMPS boxing where we need to go ahead. This is the ATX cover which you already know. This is uh, okay. I will just try to separate it out. This is nothing but the CPU power. Okay, this is the PCI one which we will put it uh, aside. Okay, guys, this is again uh, the uh, the system turn on and turn off by, uh, by particular plug. This do you see this? This particular stuff we would need to go ahead and plug it over here like this okay that's it i'm not doing it as of now so you, i'm just showing you that's how you go ahead and plug it let me bring my motherboard mm. so here you know what this, these are the plugs this is the main important thing most of the people would go blank over here what do i need to do there are too many cables of my cabinet and i need to connect to the motherboard guys it's very simple not this particular motherboard as you know that i'm using b760 okay uh, 670 um, uh, like that but anyhow even if you don't use this particular uh, motherboard if any motherboard is there you just need to be cautious okay what what i mean is like see there's a hd audio do you see this j audio one jack and do you see this particular one, two, three, four, five pins? One pin is being blank over here. There are just four pins. Under this, I would see the same thing. What I would do is I would just simply go ahead and I would attach this here. That's it, guys. My audio plugin is being done. Right now, I'm not. I'm doing it softly because I need to install it down there. I'm showing it from there. So this audio jack, audio jack comes over here like this you will plug in hold it tight it will be done so next particular is usb type 2.0 so do you see this particular slots over here written as usb 1 and usb 2 so under this particular usb 1 there is one particular slot is missing and it is matching with this i would go ahead and i would install this like this that's it guys it has been pasted and for usb type o i would just first let me take this out Okay, here is the USB plug. What you see, let me take this out to first thing. Okay, this is the nuts. I will take it aside. You can see this is the belts for that. Now, here is the USB Type-C. 
uh, we will do a proper cable management uh, later i would show you do you see this 3.0 do it see do you see jusb3 you just need to plug in over here like this guys sorry for that yeah that's it you just need to plug in it would just go inside it that's it done so this is also is done okay now comes the main part the main part is nothing but the f panel guys f panel is something you would see one slot is missing and one down here this is fp1 f panel one basically okay f panel f j f p1 so here you would see like this and you just need to install this that's it guys nothing there is no signs at all this is how you go ahead and uh, take a galaxy cabinet or beat it any cabinet you have and you can go ahead and install such way now it's time for us to take the motherboard and put it inside screw it properly attach everything do the proper cable management install the smps turn on the cpu guys you know what uh, this is just uh, uh, this is just particular part which i wanted to explain if you like the efforts please like and subscribe the channel and stay tuned thank you